here in Brentwood, New Hampshire with Farm Assistant Julia Holup. And we're here to talk to you about what questions you can ask your farmer about your food. Now it's great to shop at farmers markets and go to farms and buy local food, but there's different terminology that you can use to, to ask your farmer about how your food is grown. So we're going to really get down and dirty today and ask Julia about organic, local, pesticides, herbicides, all these things that can affect our food. So let's get to know our food. So Julia, you are at Stout Oak Farm and you guys are an organic farm. So tell us about what organic means. Sure. Yeah, so here at Stout Oak Farm, we're a certified organic producer here in New Hampshire. So if you're a certified organic farm, that means that you are certified by the USDA. And so you're required to follow a certain set of guidelines that control what kind of pesticides you can put down, what kind of fertilizers, fertilizers you use, when you put down those fertilizers, and all of these guidelines are geared around doing something that's best for the land, adding a lot of good organic matter back to the soil, getting away from the use of conventional um, methods which extract a lot of nutrients from the soil, and also protecting consumer health, making sure that you're not ingesting any substances that aren't healthy for you. You know, my feeling is too on organic that it really started out as a philosophy, right? I mean, it is regulated and it's a great thing that we know that our, you know, what's being used on our food. But a lot of people say, oh, organic, is it worth it? And that kind of thing. I really think that it started out as a philosophy, as a way of growing food that's good for nature and good for the environment and good for us, right? Absolutely. I mean, you, you kind of have to look at it holistically. I mean, eating organic food isn't just about the food. It's about restoring back to the soil what you took out of it. And that ensures that through the years to come, we'll be able to grow really good food and even better food year after year here because we're putting back that good organic matter um, and we're building up our soils. It's all about the soil, right? It's all about the soil. The more nutrients in the soil, the more nutrients in the food, and the that's more right. nutrients in us. So yeah. really that's what it comes down to. Yeah. Okay, great. So when people talk about local, um, what does that mean? I think there isn't a certain definition about what local means. I mean, sometimes I think when you go to restaurants, they say we source food within 100 miles, and that might be their definition of local. But, you know, it's sort of what you believe local to be. I would think local here in the seacoast is anywhere on the seacoast region, maybe a little bit further north into Rochester. Um, you know, those sorts of farms will drive down and come to the farmer's market here. So, um, you know, focusing on local food just really means that you're getting the best quality, you're getting the freshest produce because less time to travel means that that food was harvested um, more more quickly and that you're going to get it right to your plate. Yeah, that's how I like to think about it. Fresher tastes better, right? So yeah. let's go for the, the closest commute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what are some questions that people can ask their farmers? They go up to a farm stand and they talk to a farmer about their food. They can ask if they're organic, but what else? Yeah, it, it's good to ask if they're organic if that's something that's really important to you. Um, it's also good to note that you can be a farm that follows organic practices and not be certified organic. Um, the most important thing is to have a relationship with your farmer. If you really care about where your food comes from, ask your farmer what, what methods do you use? Do you rotate your crops? What do you spray, if anything, on your crops? Um, because there might be farmers that choose not to get certified, which is a regulatory process, but yet follow the same guidelines as a USDA certified organic farm. So being certified organic as we are is just sort of a great sort of shortcut. If you go to the market and you see the sign, you know absolutely they're following the USDA certifications. They have to get audited like we do once or twice a year. Um, so it's a good shortcut. But other than that, a lot of farms are doing good work out there and they're not certified. So number one thing is ask your farmer what you spray on your on your crops and um, you know are you adding compost how's your fertility um, those sorts of questions okay okay great um, I think it's really important to have a conversation with farmers they probably love to talk about their food right absolutely I yeah. think you can also ask your farmers if you're not sure what to do with uh, rhubarb or whatever you can ask your farmer if they have some ideas on how to prepare it and cook it so really build that relationship with the farmers because they might start out shy sometimes but yeah. I feel like once you get talking we really want to they talk about their food because they're passionate about it. And I think it's really important not to get hung up on terms. I mean, a lot of the food industry has sort of co-opted these organic terms, and to some extent, they don't always mean that much. I mean, the one thing that does mean what it means is certified organic, because you can't put that label on if you're not audited yearly by the USDA. But given that, a lot of farmers are out there doing the best work they can, and there are a lot of things that could wipe out your whole crop, and if you, if you use um, pest management in a really um, conservative way, you can still grow great food. So I think approaching it not being put off just because they're not certified, but engaging in a conversation, they might still be growing really great food. Awesome. Great. Anything you want to add? I think just shop local. You'll get the best food and the best variety. Okay. Awesome. Thanks so much, Julia. Thank you, Stout Oak Farm. Have a great time this summer shopping for your food and get some good, healthy food from good, healthy soil. Have a great day.